All right, so here's where we left off. And in this video, we take care about this main plate here. So select that and then I hit Alt H to hide everything else in the scene. So if I go to a low poly view here, um, what we could do with this guy is, um, first of all, let's select this uh, face loop here and delete it. We don't need that. And now we take that object, click on that, and then we create a uh, UV map for that. So go here to create UVs, planar mapping, and then set it to bounding box. And we want to project this from the uh, Y axis. Everything is cool, so hit apply. And now let's check out the uh, UV texture editor. So let me bring it here to the side a little bit. And if you select that object, mm, we have some, if you uh, click here on the shade UVs button, um, we will have some overlapping UVs here. So to fix that, um, select this face loop here, and this one, and this one. And then we say control right click grow selection. Now we have all the UVs uh, or the faces selected, um, yeah, that uh, are overlapping here. So now hit Control F12 to uh, change from face mode to UVs, and then simply say up here uh, the button unfold. Uh, you will find it somewhere here under polygons uh, as well, uh, unfold. But there is also a button here. So click on that, and there you go. So we have a nice uh, clean UV map of this guy, and now we. Um, uh, export or let's let's create a UV snapshot of that. Um, go here to UV snapshot, and then uh, let's call uh, let's give it a, um, let's do it a, a 4K map, so 4069 by 4069. I want a um, fairly large uh, image because when we later on want to render uh, very from very close up render here from the top from the top so we uh, have a nice clean texture right okay so let's call this um, I call my main underscore plate UV or out UV let me do another underscore here and let's uh, save this as a targa and say okay so there you go down here if, you cl if I close that up um, yeah, we had the uh, message here down here that it's uh, saved out. And now what we do is, um, instead of creating the texture that's on it, so let me turn on the reference image um, as well. So let me show all. It takes a second here. And then we select the reference image as well. Hit Alt H again. So if you take a look at that, um, yeah, what we need is uh, all those uh, little lines here and that's uh, altogether almost uh, 360 lines that we have to create and yeah we have a little bit of text here rolex oyster perpetual superlative whatever and the daytona here in red and swiss made down here and that's what we uh, actually create here in uh, maya because yeah for some reason it's a little bit easier to me uh, to create um, yeah this type of texture um, here in maya Okay, so what we could do with this guy here, um, we could hide that. So, main plate, hide that. And now let's, um, yeah, let's go to the top view. And, yeah, I will create some polygons here. So let me create a polygon plane. And then I move that guy here into position. Uh, let's give it under the inputs a subdivision of uh, one here. We have a single face, and then let me scale that guy down. And what I want to do is um, turn on X-ray mode. So let me scale that guy down to somewhere about here. So we first take care about those smaller guys, and what we could do actually is um, if we zoom in on that guy um, yeah, if you smooth that and nothing happens so let's give it some subdivisions um, let's try two or three yeah like that and then we select uh, those vertices here and those and scale those up oops why 
Is that not working? Oh, maybe it was too much. Okay. Something something is going on here. Let me check it out from the perspective view, frame in on that. Hmm. That's weird. Oh, oh, I and I know I was um, I was in uh, smooth smooth version here, so that was the reason. And what we could do now <coughs> to give this a little bit more rounded shape at the corners, so we could take all the uh, all the words here on the 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 edge on the edges here and scale those in, and then. Uh, I select the object and hit 3. You see this rounded corner here. Yeah, and I think I'm going with uh, this one here. Okay, so now we um, take the pivot of that guy and bring it to the center of the grid. So hit D and X and middle mouse here with the center of the grid and there you go. And what we have to do now is, um, yeah, let's create some instances or instance objects here um, everywhere where it should be so I will do this um, yeah let's let's um, just s uh, go here to our under edit and our uh, nice duplicate special tool here and then we say okay we set this to instance and then we want to rotate this in Y uh, one degree so X Y one degree and type here under scale uh, 1, 1, and 1. And then we want to have um, f uh, 359 copies. So that could take a second when I hit here to ap uh, on apply. So let's see what happens. There you go. That was quicker than I thought. And the cool thing now is, um, and that's what I see right now, um, this uh, could be a little bit uh, thinner. So if I select my original object or the words of that and I scale it in, all the other lines here scale in as well. And that's that's the cool thing about instanced objects. So let's go, let me check that, uh, that out from the perspective view here. See if those lines are... Uh, could be even a little bit thinner, right? So let's check that out and scale those in a bit more. Okay, I think I'm going with uh, this one here, and now we have to have to go in and delete all the uh, little planes um, on the places here where we don't want them. So go to object mode, and we want, don't want this one here and this one. I mean, you you will see that you see this on the background image where you have to delete all, all the short uh, lines here, and then yeah, let me uh, pause the video quick, and then I'll be back when I deleted all of those. Yeah, here I'm back. Um, deleted all the um, boxes here or the planes where we don't need them, and now we take uh, the original guy here and um, hit Control D to duplicate that guy, and then we rotate that guy. Um, let me scale the rotation tool here. Then we rotate that guy. Um, this uh, should be six degrees, negative six degrees, like that. And then we take it and we um, scale this up. So we go to vertex mode and select all the words here on the end, and then bring those uh, into position where they should be, somewhere about here. Yeah. And then we do the same stuff, um, taking this guy and go to our duplicate uh, special tool. And uh, on the edit, duplicate uh, special. And let's dial down um, the, uh, the copies here to one. And uh, the rotation Y, uh, let's try something with uh, negative six degrees. And then instance again and say apply. And we do this one more time and one more time and then we say negative 12 degrees should work and so on and so forth so I'm I will go on and uh, do this all the way around and um, then I'll be back in the next video